Here's some good news. This is um, it would this would be a big win right now. Um, there is a narrow margin um, in the uh, in the House that uh, the House has. It increases the power of voting blocks. Um, we can add uh, a very very strong progressive to uh the folks that we have um in the house now good gonna happen one at a time folks but each time it gets a little bit bigger and um it's helpful and uh here it is here is nina turner she is um announcing her candidacy for ohio's 11th uh district this is the one where uh, fudge is leaving to head into the um to head to hud uh in the biden administration marsha fudge here it is uh nina turner's announcement i am a daughter of cleveland i was raised in this community by parents who worked very hard my mother was a nurse's aide my father a truck driver i can relate to people who live in the 11th congressional district from all walks of life. I am you. As a Cleveland City Councilwoman, I work to secure housing for seniors. As an Ohio State Senator, I stood with working families and labor to maintain collective bargaining rights. I led the effort to create the Ohio Task Force on Community and Police Relations. I know that the struggle is real. I want to serve as your next Congresswoman because I believe that everyone deserves a good job, health care, and our children deserve to be educated from pre-K to college. I will go to Congress to help our community recover from the coronavirus, including helping small businesses and those who have been hardest hit. We are going to do great things together. Let's get to work. I am Nina Turner, and I'm running for Congress. There it is. It's official. It's official. Uh, she, she registered a few, like maybe a week ago, and I, I think I tweeted, she's officially running, and then she waited a week, and I was like, okay, I hope she didn't just, you know, secure her paperwork and then decide not to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah there yeah. we go. Uh, <laughs> it but, is a lot of work, but like, Nina Turner, come on. How how exciting is that if she would be in Congress? It's pretty exciting. I don't know anything about that district, really, so I, can't, I, I don't have a sense of... of of what her chances are there i have no sense but i would imagine you know she's going to have access to resources that maybe local people won't necessarily i mean i am you know i don't know who's running against her i imagine there's probably some corporate money that that'll come in well there are three candidates officially now in the race uh chantel brown and jeff johnson and it's a democratic district that's plus 30 points so it's extremely safe she could potentially be following the model. Obviously, now she has a national platform that Ilhan Omar or uh, Ocasio-Cortez or, um, or Rashida Tlaib, you know, they don't have or didn't have at the time. But um, basically, progressive candidates running in, in safe blue districts, that seems to be the way to go right now. Without a doubt. And she's going to come in with a certain amount of name recognition that I don't I don't have a sense of, of, of whether the other people do, but she certainly does have some name recognition. And and it's uh, not like she's being uh, planted there, you know, from a from a national not a carpet party. Bagger. Right. Because because she's served as an Ohio state senator. Right. before. Right. So um, we shall see. I don't know if there'll be any polling on that. And I'm not sure when that um, election takes place. Do we know uh, when the. A um, couple of months, I would imagine, but 